Hello, this is Daniel Raymond, the voice behind Ray's Guide. After a lot of waiting and some false starts, the first Evocati test of 3.24 happened for a few hours yesterday, the evening of the 25th of June. For those not following everything closely, 3.24 is simply 3.23.2 rebranded, which a lot of people made a big deal of. But speaking personally, it's just a number. But the delays in getting it to testing carry the potential for implications on whether 4.0 will be an October CitizenCon release, a November IAE sale release, or a December holiday release. However, with the test last week in the tech preview channel of server meshing, it looks like cargo and economy features in 3.24 and the pyro server meshing and jump tunnels of 4.0 are proceeding in parallel teams. But if that means that simply because this used to be a double dot release, there is going to be a quick movement to later stages of PTU, you may be disappointed because this was definitely an early EVO release build. The kind where you spend more time out of the game trying to get in and back in and waiting on hangs rather than actually trying stuff in the game. That isn't necessarily alarming. It isn't unusual for the first EVO releases to be this troublesome. The most common problem people were having was a 30k error after which the account was to be given 30,009 errors and others that was sometimes but not always solved by exiting the game, completely closing the launcher, relaunching the launcher, relogging in, and then restarting the game. As I said, you spend a fair amount of time outside of the game getting in or trying to get in again. Other common things that happened to me was I fell through the floor of the Area 18 bus twice. Also, the one time I tried to fly out from my personal hangar at Area 18 to try to get the Bajini, I got a few hundred meters above the floor and then I glitched out of the ship and fell onto the roof hangar, uh, which gave me a cool view and through the open door into the hangar. I'd show it to you, but of course, everything's under NDA. The main frustration from this was being unable to test at all how hangars worked at locations other than the one where your home city is. Now the things I did get a chance to test. There is a storage access point in every hab, and the one in my hab worked reliably every time. Perhaps because obviously it was consistently the first one I tried. But after that, it was about 50-50 as to whether the storage kiosk would work. The way it works when it does work is that you get the location inventory on the right side of the screen, what you're moving out or in on the left side of the screen, and then you drag items from one to the other. Then, when you select the Open Drawer button, you are taken to the familiar Paper Doll inventory screen. So it's functioning kind of as an intermediary step, intended mostly to add feel to the game rather than functions. The freight elevator is more of a matter of adding functions to the game. On the subject of freight, I went to the TDD and bought some scrap into local inventory, so when I got to my hangar, I had something I could work with. And I noticed that I now needed to specify the size of container I wanted the scrap to be in from all the standard sizes of containers, which I found it surprising, as I expected container size to be a concern when retrieving the commodity, not when purchasing it. The problem is that for efficient loading, most of our ships require many different sizes of containers, particularly if we already have a partial load. If I've purchased my commodities in, say, 16 SCU containers, but I need some 2 SCU containers to fit into the corners, am I out of luck? I wish I could say that when I got to the freight elevator control, I learned, but in the times that I managed the Ibakati built gauntlet of 30Ks and falling through bus floors, I wound up having an infinite loading screen on the freight management terminal. Otherwise, the new addition to the hangars fit nicely to the existing style, and with the new ASOP terminals in the hangar themselves, it would seem that the need for ones in the terminals in the spaceport lobby to be almost entirely be eliminated except for ships that use docking ports instead of hangars. The ship retrieval seemed to work in a sense, except that the animation that was shown in the Inside Star Citizen of the ship rising out of the floor did not happen. The ships just sort of blinked in and blinked out. Although occasionally the sound effect of massive mechanical lifts at work did play, although not at the same time and the hangers would occasionally show as trespassing after a server hang, and in one case after a server hang, the ship that was on the pad was listed as destroyed rather than stored. On the one time I did glitch into another player's hangar, the system did successfully, after a few seconds, trespass me back to the station with no ill effects. So, all in all, a fairly typical Evocati build. 
No need for any alarms, but if you were thinking that 3.24 in live or open PTU was somehow just around the corner, you should think that you should be playing 3.23.1 for a while. The current message of the day is that they are digging through all the data and reports and expect a much improved build on tomorrow, Thursday. Which is not unusual. Evo builds do tend to improve rapidly at this point. My gut says another brief test on Thursday and then an attempt to leave the next build after that to run for a full weekend. And now for an update on our ship giveaways. To start with, we have our special membership to cover the cost of doing live coverage of SizenCon with its own special giveaway for a hull seat. The colossal cargo container carrying craft, and although I am still expecting to make the trip to Manchester, in fact, I just signed up for TSA Pre, so that will help at least on the outbound flight, the giveaway will still occur even if for some reason the live SizenCon coverage has to be done remotely. Plus, we have our regular Golden Channel ship giveaway for the Zippy Zazzy Zathia Zephyr, the Zeus 2 Cargo, which we are just waiting on a subscriber goal for, as well as the marvelous multiplayer, multi-role mining meta, the Arasta. One entry per video, just be a member for automatic entry with each video, or subscribe and comment, somehow including the secret word. And the secret word for this video is where I always got an infinite loading screen. Fly safe, keep it real, and I'll see you in the verses. Daniel Raymond for Ray's Guide.